Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a video on vanilla fragrances for the vanilla hater, like myself. I am not a fan of vanilla fragrances. I don't like the smell of just the standard sweet vanilla. And I decided I would make a list of vanilla fragrances that would be very appealing to people like myself who generally don't like vanilla. So the vanilla hater. This list has niche fragrances and designer fragrances and actually some affordable fragrances as well. I'll tell you guys what each one smells like as usual. Many of these are women's fragrances, but there are some unisex fragrances in here as well. So the very first one that I want to talk about is from Diptyque and it's called Eau Duel. This is the Eau de Toilette and this one to me is like a woody green vanilla. I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells like a forest with vanilla. It smells like vanilla ice cream when you're walking through a forest and eating vanilla ice cream. It has juniper, it has elemi resin, and it's a... It almost has a piney vibe. It's very beautiful, a little bit peppery. This is definitely unisex, quite masculine, I would say. I love to wear this. I've worn quite a bit of it already. The vanilla is not sweet. It's, it's a woody piney type of vanilla. That's that's what this fragrance is. The second fragrance should come as no surprise and this is Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. I have the Manifesto L'Eclat as well but this one is more vanilla centric so for the purpose of this video I went with the original Manifesto. This is one of my signature scents especially during the colder months. This fragrance makes me smile. It's a fluffy warm a little bit sweet vanilla it smells like a little bit like marshmallows there's no marshmallow note in here there's a um, black currant in here which i love combined with vanilla it takes that powdery edge off i talked about it in my fluffy fragrances like this is one of the most fluffiest coziest most comfortable fragrances that i have and i wear it a lot in the cold because it's just such a comfortable fragrance for me and yeah i just absolutely love it Fragrance number three is new to my collection, and this is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. This fragrance opens up with a sweet, juicy pear note, but in the dry down, it's more about the vanilla. There's a vetiver note in here. There are three notes listed for this fragrance. Corrections Corner, one of my viewers commented and said that they advertise three notes in fragrances because apparently the marketing team for fragrances thinks that us consumers aren't intelligent enough to comprehend more complex note listings. So to make things easier and to sell things faster, they list three notes and it's a fairly new concept apparently. I did not know. Thank you for educating me. Anyway, so the three notes that are advertised are pear, vanilla, and vetiver, but I am sure that there are way more notes in here and many aroma chemicals, and it's quite sweet. It is it is quite a sweet fragrance. It dries down quite sweet, and the vetiver is rooty. It gives it a little bit of like a, um, a foresty vibe. Predominantly, this fragrance, to my nose, is pear and vanilla. The sweet pear comes out more in the dry down. In the beginning, it's like almost like a little bit of a juicier fresh pear, but it turns more into like um like a sweet, almost like a poached pear, like a spiced poached pear. That's kind of what it turns into as it dries down. And that vetiver adds a nice woody touch to the fragrance. This is a vanilla unlike any typical vanilla that you've smelled. These are in no particular order, by the way. I'm just trying to keep track of how many fragrances I actually have in this list. I say it's 10, but surely it is more than 10. So anyway, next is Zadig and Voltaire, This Is Her. This, even though it's called This Is Her, is actually quite unisex and it's sandalwood, very creamy sandalwood, a little bit nutty, vanilla and like a whipped cream scent. Like it's not heavy sweet, but it's quite present. It's very creamy, it's smooth, but it actually truly is creamy, like whipped cream. And there's a nutty note in here, I believe it's chestnut. There's a lot of sandalwood in here. It's a very creamy vanilla sandalwood. So if you're looking for a sandalwood fragrance, but not like Le Labo Santal 33, this is nothing like that. This doesn't have that dill note. I'm sorry for Santal 33 fans, but that one's just a hard no for me. 
but this one I love. I love the sandalwood in here combined with the vanilla. And yes, vanilla is the one of the more dominant notes. The fifth fragrance is Paco Rabanne Olympia, and I have the Olympia Aqua. I like both of them. I like the Aqua more because it's not as heavy. I don't really like that super super sweet and salty thing that the original has but this one's a lot more wearable for me this one i love it's salty vanilla it's aquatic it reminds me a little bit of uh alien or sublime but more salty vanilla but it does have jasmine in here it's beautiful i really like it i was surprised that i liked it because i don't typically like fragrances like this but since since I'm a vanilla hater, but this one appeals to my nose. So all you other vanilla haters out there, you probably will like this as well. It's really sexy and I've worn it a lot this summer. I have I mean, for the amount of fragrances I have, this is quite a bit for me to wear. Number six is Kate Walsh Boyfriend. I mentioned this in my earlier YouTube videos. I wore it a lot in the winter and fall. And this is a cooler weather fragrance. It has a lot of myrrh. It's very balsamic. It's very rich. And I love the myrrh note in here. This was my first fragrance that had a dominant myrrh note. And the vanilla in here with the balsamic accords that are in this fragrance combines beautifully. The vanilla is one of the more dominant notes. But it's, it's outstanding. It's not a typical vanilla at all. I think for people that are into balsamic fragrances and want something heavier for the colder months and like myrrh, like myself, I would totally recommend this. This is a celebrity fragrance, but I would go so far as to say this has more of a niche presence. It's very unique. It's crafted quite well. It doesn't smell cheap at all, and it's actually not cheap. It's sold exclusively through the Boyfriend website, which I'll, I'll link everything for you guys down below. And yeah, this is, um, this is unisex for sure. I know it's marketed towards women, but I think this would smell amazing on men. So yeah, check that one out. That's Kate Walsh, boyfriend. And my bottle is the newer bottle. I never tried the older bottle, but from what I understand, the older formulations was a little bit sweeter. This one really isn't as sweet. Seventh fragrance, Yves Saint Laurent Libre. This one I also recently acquired, and those of you guys that have been watching me for a while know that it was a complete roller coaster for me and this fragrance. First I liked it, then I really hated it, then I was okay with it, then I liked it again, then I wasn't sure. Anyway, turns out I love it, and so I ended up getting the full bottle. This is a vanilla with lavender, jasmine, orange blossom. Honestly, for me, the lavender doesn't stand out as much on my skin. This is quite soapy and clean but very bright not the typical soapy like not an aldehydic soapiness it doesn't smell like um like those classic chanel's or you know anything like that from the older vintage style fragrances that have soapiness this isn't like that this for me is a very clean smelling fragrance it is very much about the vanilla the orange blossom and the jasmine it comes out on my skin more so than the lavender the lavender is somewhere there in the background but i think the lavender contributes to it smelling very clean i absolutely love how this fragrance dries down and the way that it smells on my clothing the next day the opening this is what challenged me with this fragrance the opening you have to get past it like People that don't like this, give it a few wearings and smell it a few hours later on your clothing or on your skin. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and not a typical vanilla fragrance at all. I really recommend it and it's, it's quickly become one of my favorites. The next fragrance is an oldie but a goodie and this often gets overlooked and it's not often mentioned. It's Hugo Boss Deep Red. I have been wearing this fragrance since I was in high school and I still love it. I bought it recently to refresh my memory and I still love it. It's an orangey vanilla. It's an orangey vanilla with sandalwood as well. There's black currant in here and it's like, it's got that like early 2000s vibe about it. You know, the it has like a common scent profile a little bit to Burberry Brit, you know, like I was thinking of putting Burberry Brit in this list, but I felt it would be a little bit redundant. And because I actually wear this one a lot, 
I put this one in, but it has that type of vanilla. I just love this, like the orange and the vanilla combination that's in here. It's really, it's really unique actually. And it doesn't smell cheap. It's a really beautiful fragrance. It's one of my dumb reaches for the fall. This is a very like knit sweater fall vibe, this fragrance. And yeah, not a typical vanilla. Again, like people that don't like vanilla, but like an orangey note, check this one out. And I'm pretty sure that one retails for like around $30 at this point. Like I'm talking Canadian dollars. Again, I'll link everything for you guys down below. I'm sure it can be had on like Amazon for 30 bucks and fragrancebuy.ca. It's a very good cheapie. On the opposite end of the price point spectrum, this is Histoire des Parfums and this is Hemingway 1899. I love this fragrance. If you guys like Spice Bomb, you will probably like this. It's a little bit more on the vanilla. It's a little bit more unisex. Woody, creamy, sexy. It's a beautiful spicy vanilla. It has juniper. I smell like something like ginger. There's definitely pepper, there's some cinnamon. The juniper is like more prominent and it's really nicely combined with the vanilla. So of the ones that I mentioned, I would classify this one as a spicy vanilla and probably the most masculine of the bunch. This also bears a very strong resemblance to Initio Rehab. Initio Rehab is a little bit pricier, I think. Um, this is like somewhere in between. So then there's Spice Bomb, there's Hemingway, and then there's Initio Rehab. I really recommend trying this out. I got the 15 mil from fragrancebuy.ca and I think I paid around $30. So it's not like, you know, it's not gonna break the bank. I love it. It's not overly spicy. I like to wear this myself and I do struggle with very spicy fragrances. I also struggle with overly vanilla fragrances. Great balance of spices and vanilla. It smells like a really hot guy taking you on an expensive date. Like that's what this one smells like. The 10th fragrance is called Bois d'Iris and this is from Van Cleef and Arpels. This one smells a lot like Bois d'Argent from the Dior Privé collection. It's a beautiful woody irisy vanilla. Vanilla's right there like at the top. I could really smell it. I mean like not in the top nose but it's one of the most dominating notes beautiful woodiness like that driftwood note a little bit salty a little bit sweet it's very clean buttery like almost buttery iris that's kind of what this smells like it's, it's it's gorgeous it's very unisex as well i would almost say that this is more masculine leaning i like to wear masculine fragrances but my girlfriends that don't like masculine fragrances they won't wear this so i don't care i love it it's, it's beautiful. It's like a beautiful woody iris vanilla. If you guys are trying not to spend the big bucks on things like Dior Privé, but you like the smell of Bois d'Argent, I highly recommend you check this out because this smells like 85 to 90% identical. So yeah, Van Cleef and Arpel, Bois d'Iris, check that one out. We're on to the honorable mention. So those were the 10 that really are like my favorite vanillas as a vanilla hater. Those are the ones. The next two are honorable mentions. The first one is Mont Guerlain. And the reason why it's an honorable mention is because I have already talked about this fragrance a bajillion times and I really didn't think it would be fair for me to throw it into the main list. It's a good balance of lavender and vanilla. It's it's one of my signature scents. I love this fragrance, but I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I'm sure you guys already know it. I'm gonna do a separate video covering my entire Mont Guerlain collection because I think I have all of them at this point. So yeah, Mont Guerlain, honorable mention. And the last is from Zara, and this is the Tobacco Collection Rich Warm Addictive. This definitely has vanilla in it. The vanilla is very strong and this is the newer formulation which I don't think has any coconut in it and actually doesn't have a tobacco note. It's a perceived tobacco. It's advertised as tobacco but there is no trace of tobacco in here. It's sweet. It's boozy. It's definitely got honey and it almost smells like a coffee liqueur to me. It smells like a coffee liqueur. Rum and some kind of coffee liqueur 
No coffee note is listed. Again, with the three note thing, Zara has been known to do this. They list only three notes in their fragrances. And for the longest time, I thought it was actually three notes just until recently. Turns out they just advertise three notes. Anyway, the new formulation, they advertise peony, rum, and vanilla. Very recognizable vanilla. But I'm a bajillion percent sure that there's also something that smells like coffee in here. And I really like it. Even though it's advertised as a masculine fragrance, I think it's completely unisex. I love wearing this. This is my like dumb reach for the fall sweater weather. This is the one that I go for. It just warms you up. It's like a coffee and rum. It's, it's delicious. It's boozy. And it's vanilla. So this is my... I would classify this as a boozy vanilla. I really don't smell any trace of tobacco in here. I have a plenty of tobacco fragrances and guys, this is not tobacco. So this is my whole list of best vanilla fragrances for the vanilla hater. Let me know what your favorite vanilla fragrance is, whether you're a vanilla lover or a vanilla hater. I didn't include typical vanilla fragrances in here. Vanilla fragrances for vanilla lovers like your addict and and the like these are more unique vanilla fragrances so if you guys can think of any other kind of cool edgy unusual vanilla fragrance please let me know down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye